Jason, Mark, Ron, Darren, John Rucker. Is everybody set on crew that hasn't, I mean, I've talked to some people and so I know where I need, but does anybody else have needs that, that hasn't talked to me? Okay. What we're looking at doing this morning is we're going to do a mass ascension from the field here um, that really works the, the easiest. We did note that on, on the map south of here for, Waukesha, or for the airport, if you do get there, um, it's the runway number is 1836 star. So questions, anything? All right, let's go ahead and go out and we'll put up a pie ball here in a little bit. And if you need a marker, just, uh, just let me know. Actually, those two cross, this one doesn't. My name is Sonia Belgard. I'm a private balloon pilot. I live in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. Grew up in North Dakota, been around ballooning most of my life. My dad was a balloon pilot, so um, it just kind of came natural that I wanted to eventually. We start, we fill it up with cold air first. We'll fill it up probably 80% of the balloon. And then once we turn the burners on, it actually warms the air inside of the balloon. Warm air rises. So um, that's how we get it to stand up. We're good. And we're off. Thank you. We're climbing 300 feet a minute right now. It's so peaceful and so calm up in the air. Um, I don't know, it's like you leave all of your worries behind and you're just there to fly. I don't get nervous very often. I mean, there's been a few times where, you know, you're looking for that landing spot and um, you really have to test your skills sometimes to be able to drop it in. That's what you're trained for too though, so is to be able to find those spots and you know get into them if you need to. Yeah, ballooning definitely brings some great experiences. Um, you get to know all of the pilots, they become like family. You see the same ones quite a, quite a bit, especially when you go to, when you're in the same area. Not a lot of women in the sport. There's getting to be more than when I first started, it seems, um, and definitely more than when my dad was flying. Um, I had only heard of one other woman pilot when my dad was a pilot, so um, it's definitely taken off. I think everybody should try it at least once. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I have a lot of people that say they wouldn't want to do it because they're scared of heights. Um, but it's a completely different feeling when you're up there. It's not, it's not like standing on a ladder. It's not like standing on a roof. Um, and you're going with the air, so like with the wind. So you don't really get that sensation that you're really moving. It's, it's, you're floating. 